speak about the love of God. Now I began to look through all those references of the love of God and go through them individually. And uh, here's what I noticed. There's not one verse in the entire Bible that says God loves everybody. Not one. Not one. Zero. Zero. Pay attention to this. Because many Christians have no concept of John 3.16. Many Christians have no concept of John 3.16. Come on, man. And I'm going to forever change your view of it today. Does the Bible anywhere teach that God loves every human being from Adam to the last human being ever born? Or does the Bible teach that God hates some people as well as loves some other people? One way to catch a humanist is to ask, does God love everybody? The humanist would say, oh, well, I think he does. <laughs> See, that's a rationalist. Oh, I feel in my heart that he does. <laughs> There's the mystic. Well, in my experience, there's the empiricist. <laughs> well, I, my church teaches that that's the feediest. Reason, experience, feelings, faith, these are the four sources of origin for the human. But see, I'm not a human. I don't believe man is the measure of all things. I believe God is the measure of all things because God is the measure of all things and he has revealed himself in scripture because he's not silent, but he has spoken in the word of God. The question, does God love everybody, assumes a lot of things. So I'd like to start in the Bible. You find here in Romans 9, it says in verse 13, Jacob I love. Now there's a specific name. God says, I loved Jacob. So, in answer to the question, does the Bible ever say that God loved anybody at any time, the answer is he loved Jacob. Second question, does the same Bible ever say that God hates people? Ah, same verse, Jacob, I loved, Esau, I hated. Well, then evidently, there are those whom God loves, and there are those whom God hates. Obviously, hello? Dealing with the humanist is but God hates the sin but loves the sinner. <laughs> Once you begin to talk about the fact there's the elect of God whom God has loved from all eternity and sent Christ to be their savior, sent the Holy Spirit to apply redemption so salvation is planned by the Father, purchased by the Son, sealed by the Spirit, blessed God through. Then there are the reprobates for whom there's nothing but blackness and damnation. The moment you say this, immediately the mystics arise. And I don't like it. it it's not fair. <laughs> and they give you all this emotional vomiting. I call it emotional vomiting. An emotional response. Now, everybody's not a child of God. God hates certain people, loves certain people. Christ came for certain. He says, I came to give my life for the sheep. There are those who are not a sheep. He didn't come for them. There are those who are not a sheep. He didn't come for them. So if you're not happy with biblical teaching, fine. 